Chinese fighter jets and warships have simulated strikes on Taiwan. It's an angry show of force following a meeting between Taiwan's president and senior U.S. politicians. But would U.S. forces defend the island? Yes, if in fact there was an unprecedented attack. Geopolitical tensions have been on a record rise in the whole wide world in recent years, while more of a focus remains on the Russian-Ukraine conflict, which has shaken the region to its core. There are tensions rising in another part of the world, which has been closely monitored by the likes of the U.S. itself. The military capabilities of China and Taiwan have been the subject of intense scrutiny and analysis in recent years. In particular, both nations' air forces have been closely examined for their respective strengths and weaknesses. While both air forces have made significant advancements in recent years, China's air force has emerged as a dominant force in the region, equipped with some of the most advanced technology in the world. In today's episode, we are going to cover the military might, particularly the air force might of both China and Taiwan. This is Race to Space, and if you like watching content like this, consider subscribing. Air Force Comparison China's Air Force, also known as the People's Liberation Army Air Force, is one of the largest air forces in the world, with more than 2,800 aircraft and over 400,000 personnel. It has undergone significant modernization in recent years, with an emphasis on developing advanced technology and improving its combat capabilities. The People's Liberation Army Air Force has been equipped with a range of sophisticated aircraft, including the J-20 Stealth Fighter, which is one of the most advanced fighter jets in the world. It has also developed advanced missile technology, including the DF-21D, a ballistic missile that can target ships at sea. In addition to its advanced technology, the People's Liberation Army Air Force has the advantage of numerical superiority over Taiwan's Air Force. With a larger number of aircraft, it can overwhelm Taiwan's defenses, which has forced Taiwan to focus on developing more advanced technology and tactics to counter this threat. Talking about the modernization of China's military, the country has invested heavily in developing and upgrading its air capabilities, with the aim of becoming a dominant air power in the Asia-Pacific region. One of the most significant aspects of the People's Liberation Army Air Force's modernization has been its investment in new aircraft. China has developed several new types of combat aircraft in recent years, including the J-20 Stealth Fighter and the FC-31 fifth-generation fighter. The J-20 is a highly advanced fighter that is capable of evading radar detection, while the FC-31 is designed to be a more affordable option that can still provide advanced capabilities. China has also upgraded its existing fleet of aircraft, such as the J-10 and J-11, with new avionics, engines, and weapon systems. Another area of focus for the People's Liberation Army Air Force has been the development of new air defense systems. China has developed several types of advanced surface-to-air missiles, including the HQ-9 and the HQ-19. These systems are designed to provide a multi-layer defense against incoming threats, including ballistic missiles, cruise missiles, and aircraft. China has also developed new electronic warfare systems that can disrupt enemy communications and radar systems. In addition to these advancements, the People's Liberation Army Air Force has also been expanding its capabilities in space. China has developed a range of space-based assets, including satellites and anti-satellite weapons. These systems can be used to support military operations by providing intelligence, communications, and navigation capabilities. China also demonstrated its asset capabilities by destroying one of its own satellites in 2007, a move that was widely criticized by the international community. China has also been investing in new training and simulation capabilities for its pilots. The People's Liberation Army Air Force has developed advanced simulators that can accurately simulate a range of combat scenarios, allowing pilots to train in a safe and controlled environment. China has also been increasing the amount of training that its pilots receive, with the aim of producing more highly skilled and capable pilots. China has also been expanding its overseas military presence, including its air capabilities. China has established new military bases in Djibouti, Pakistan, and other locations, which can be used to support its air operations in the region. China has also been increasing its participation in international military exercises, allowing its pilots to gain experience and learn from other countries' air forces. The Taiwan Air Force, also known as the Republic of China Air Force, is a smaller force with approximately 300 aircraft and 30,000 personnel. 
Despite its smaller size, the ROCAF has developed advanced technology and tactics to counter the threat from China. It has acquired advanced fighter jets such as the F-16V, which has been upgraded with the latest technology, making it one of the most capable fighter jets in the world. The ROCAF may have an advantage in terms of its training and experience. Taiwanese pilots receive extensive training and are among the most skilled in the world. The ROCAF has also developed innovative tactics to counter the numerical advantage of the People's Liberation Army Air Force, including using its terrain to its advantage and developing a network of underground bunkers and hangars to protect its aircraft. In recent years, Taiwan has undertaken a series of initiatives to modernize its air force. The primary objective of these efforts is to maintain an effective deterrent against potential Chinese aggression. Some notable aspects of Taiwan's Air Force modernization plan include Procurement of new fighter aircraft Taiwan has procured advanced fighter aircraft, such as the F-16V, which boasts improved radar systems, avionics and weapons capabilities. These aircraft have enhanced Taiwan's ability to defend its airspace and counter any potential aerial threats from China. Upgrading existing fleet Taiwan has also invested in upgrading its existing fleet of S-16A, or B, and indigenous defense fighter aircraft to extend their service life and improve overall capabilities. Enhancing air defense systems Taiwan has strengthened its air defense capabilities through the acquisition of advanced surface-to-air missile systems, such as the Patriot Pac-3 and Tian Kung-3. When it comes to a direct comparison of the two air forces, China has the advantage in terms of numerical superiority and advanced technology. However, Taiwan has made up for this disadvantage by developing advanced tactics and acquiring high-tech weaponry. In terms of air defense, both air forces have developed advanced systems, including radar and missile defense systems. However, China has an advantage in terms of its longer-range missiles, which can target Taiwan from a distance. In terms of logistics and support, China has the advantage of a larger and more sophisticated supply chain, which enables it to maintain a higher operational tempo. Taiwan, on the other hand, has the advantage of a more agile and flexible logistics system, which enables it to operate from a wider range of bases and airfields. To summarize, both China and Taiwan have developed advanced air forces, but China's larger size and advanced technology give it an advantage. While Taiwan has made significant strides in modernizing its air force, China's aerial prowess remains unparalleled in the region. The Chinese Air Force has undergone a rapid transformation in the past two decades, making it one of the most powerful and technologically advanced in the world. Some key factors contributing to China's air power dominance include Vast fleet size The Chinese Air Force has a significantly larger fleet of combat aircraft than Taiwan. This numerical advantage enables China to maintain a constant presence in the region, posing a substantial challenge for Taiwan's limited air force assets. Advanced Fighter Aircraft China has developed and deployed advanced fighter aircraft, such as the J-20 and J-31 stealth fighters, which are designed to challenge the capabilities of the U.S. and its allies, including Taiwan. These cutting-edge platforms provide China with an edge in aerial combat scenarios. Comprehensive Air Defense Network China has established a robust and extensive air defense network, consisting of advanced surface-to-air missile systems, such as the HK-9 and S-400. This network provides a formidable defense against potential aerial threats, ensuring the protection of Chinese airspace. Growing Power Projection Capabilities China's Air Force is steadily expanding its power projection capabilities, as evidenced by the development of the H-20 strategic bomber and the Y-20 military transport aircraft. These platforms enable China to project force far beyond its borders, further asserting its dominance in the region. Taiwan's recent Air Force modernization initiatives have undoubtedly improved its capabilities to defend its airspace and deter potential aggression from China. However, the sheer scale and technological prowess of the Chinese Air Force continue to cast a shadow over Taiwan's efforts. While Taiwan's modernization is commendable, China's dominance in the region remains a significant concern for Taipei and its allies. In the face of these overwhelming odds, it is crucial for Taiwan to continue pursuing innovative strategies and international partnerships to maintain a credible deterrent against potential Chinese aggression. With much about the military might, particularly the Air Force might of both China and Taiwan compared, it is time to wrap this one up. 
If you have any topics in mind, comment below and we will cover them for you. As always, subscribe to never miss out. This is Race to Space and we will see you in the next one.